All right, took a break for a couple days, let the weather pass, but it's nice and sunny now. I've um, been working this morning. I uh, haven't really filmed too much today, uh, but I got that half tire put in. Uh, these two tires are empty right now. Um, actually, all the ones on the sixth course are empty. Just got them sitting up there. I've also put in a little half block, a little spacer filler right here, um, just with some tire tread, kind of like I did on the other side. Um, rammed that full of earth. So that's what it looks like rammed inside there. Same thing on the other side, tire tread, and a little scrap piece of tire over there. So I don't quite have enough tires for the whole six course at the moment. Um, I grabbed as many as I could yesterday. Um, but I want to finish this wing wall before I start pounding any of those. Uh, as you can see over there, I also got a 1700 gallon water cistern. So that's going to be coming up here soon. Uh, it'll be going back here. Um, I was able to get a few more tires in yesterday. I didn't film anything, but pretty repetitive stuff. Exact same as I'm doing on, or as I did on the other side. Got the string out, getting it all square to the building. Um, I'm gonna keep going up with tires. This side is actually a little higher now. Um, I kind of overdid it because I was low on the other side. Um, so I'll be going with 225s for the next two courses. Um, this wing wall is a little shorter. Um, I only have three tires on the bottom for now. I did four over there. Um, I just, I'm short a 245, so I just did three. Um, next time I run into town, I'll grab some more tires. Um, but these next two that I'll do today uh, will be 225s. All right, so bottom five courses are pounded. Um, I've got this six course just kind of in place, and then I stacked up um, all the final courses just to kind of get an idea of how tall it's going to be. Alright, I'm just getting started again. I uh, left for a few days, ended up getting sick, going back to Big Sky. Um, but I'm back, and I got some more tires, so I've got another 245 so I can finish out this wing wall to the same point as the east side. Um, I also picked up some more tires, so I've got pretty much the full course worth of tires laid out. Uh, so both the east and west swing walls are pounded up to that fifth course. Uh, I'm going to leave them kind of slanted like that just for now until I figure out how I want to finish them. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to bring them straight up or wrap them around or what I'm going to end up doing with them. So they're going to sit like this for a while. Uh, they're ready for the blue board insulation and six mil plastic vapor barrier to go in. Um, so I've started over here, you can see it with that shadow, just kind of making a cliff right there for that blue board to fit in there. Um, I'm going to have a couple people coming out in the next few days. Uh, we're going to get that thermal wrap vapor barrier done, as well as hopefully get a hand moving 1700 gallon water cistern in. Um, this thing's pretty heavy, it's hard to move by myself. so. Got some help coming. Um, we'll level out a pad back here and hopefully get that installed as well. Um, I'll probably leave this video here. Uh, it was kind of short, didn't have a whole lot, but it was the exact same thing as the east side. And you can only watch me pound so many tires. So, the next video, we'll be doing the thermal wrap vapor barrier. Uh, I'll just continue making this cliff last trench all the way around and next time you can see us put all that insulation in